Hello friends, it's Carly from The Poetry of Nice and I have an unboxing video for you guys, kind of like a haul video I suppose. Um, so, pretty much none of us at this point, especially if you watch reseller content on YouTube, are uh, a stranger to like thread up and stuff like that. And I've seen so many videos recently about people buying these like rescue boxes and stuff like that, which is super entertaining to watch, <laughs> I have to say. Um, you know, who doesn't love a good haul video, mystery box, all that kind of stuff. However, I am a little more risk adverse than that. Like I'll just hold my hands up and say it. So it got me wondering, is there a way to source online because some people really need to do that, right? Like, as of right now, I keep talking about it's winter, I don't have access to my usual sourcing areas like rummage sales and yard sales and those kinds of things. I have thrift stores, but those are highly priced and they... The inventory is limited. Like, once I've done the rounds one week, it really hasn't changed. They don't stock that much for, like, the next week and stuff. So I have found. And I keep kind of driving further away, you know, between an hour and a half to two hours to try and find new places to source and get, you know, some, some decent inventory and some names that are going to go ahead and bring some traffic into my store. Um, and just to be able to keep going with the listing consistently. That, that's pretty much my main prerogative at this point, since I have no death pile, is to um, continue to list and list brands that will at least be ranking in search engines and stuff like that. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to show you what I ordered from Threadip. So here's what I did. I went to their website and I went to their clearance and markdown sections and I filtered from um, price like lowest to highest and then I could see exactly what was coming up for the lowest price that they were asking on their website. None of it was brands necessarily that I would really be wanting to source like specifically. If it's stuff that I found at fill a bag I may have grabbed it but um, nothing that was really jumping out to me. So I went ahead and started looking by brand and that would be the tip I would give you. So I would choose a brand that I you know enjoyed selling, Madewell for example, and I would put that in their search bar and I would go ahead and apply that filter again. So lowest price to highest price. And what was going on is it, it will take you their lowest price, obviously being their markdown and clearance items. And then what I did is I went ahead and Googled for um, like a, a thread up coupon. Uh, Retail Me Not is a great place to go, but you can just go ahead and put that in a generalized Google search. And it came up with one that was, um, I think it was like an extra 20% off or something like that. So I knew I'd be able to apply that to checkout because it does apply to markdown items. Markdown items you're gonna see in red. And sometimes, here's another tip, when you click into the item, so if there's an item that you're specifically interested in but oh I'm not too sure if it is um, you know worth my money sometimes when you click into it that price actually lowers for you again I learned that several times over so go ahead and take that extra second to just look a little closer to the item by clicking on it and um, okay and the next tip that I would give you is make sure you read the condition details there's only like one photograph the thread it puts up of their of their um, items and then if you scroll down in their like listing thing there is a generalized condition note so I noticed that there was all kinds of different conditions noted obviously but as I said they were all they were all very generalized there was nothing specific like this one has a hole a hole on the left shoulder or you know this one has excessive pilling and wash wear to the under there was nothing like that that I could really you know, sort of tune into, and with only having one photo of the of the product, this still feels a little bit like a mystery unboxing because I'm honestly not too sure what condition the items I'm getting are gonna be in. Um, so what I did is I picked a cross range because I wanted to show you guys what's it really like to to order online from somewhere like ThreadUp, you know, what what is the quality that you're gonna get really like. Obviously I know like the brands that I picked are decent brands, but I have no idea what condition they're really going to be in because it was so very vague and there was no photos to back it up. So I picked a cross list of those kind of things. This is to resell but it's also kind of an experiment to see is this something viable that you know I could do or anybody else could actually do online outside of the whole rescue box mystery box things because if you're like me you like just a little bit more control over your inventory than that sometimes. <laughs> All right, so let's do it. Let's tear in. So I have three boxes. I have an envelope and then three boxes. This is all one order. Um, I spent around, I'm so sorry, I don't have the exact numbers because, ah, my head's a shed. But um, it was around like $91 is what it came to. It was like $90 and change. And um, so when it parts out, now the items were between, anywhere between like 69 cents up to like eight dollars is what I picked but when it evens out they were all between the five and six dollar mark which for some of the brands I would absolutely pay for in a thrift store but again I don't know the exact condition so that's really where the kind of big question mark comes in right now so let, let's just go ahead and see so 
I have my little, I guess this is like, thank you for your order. So this is like, it's a nice little letter and I guess it's my little uh, manifesto for this one. Um, I think this might be just a single item, but I'll go ahead and keep this and reuse it anyway. Um, ah, this is really nice. So they have used tissue paper and there's a sticker that says warm wishes. I'm going to use this too when I resell stuff. <laughs> I'm going to peel it carefully and I will reuse this tissue paper because waste not, what not. Um, the gift of thrift. What is this? Spread thrifty cheer. This just fell out. Oh, I got free stickers, which is really nice. Um, and then stuff about a contest and holiday hints. I don't know, but I'll use those stickers too. So there we go. I've got tissue paper and envelope to use and stickers. So hey, we're already in a win. <laughs> All right, so here is my first item that I picked. Remember, um, rather than doing a specific um, price for each item, just think of this between five and six dollars because that is what it even out to. So here is my first item that I selected. It is a like wide, almost like a rugby striped pencil skirt. It feels really nice. It's like a dark navy and then like an olive, almost like army green. It has pockets, zipper on the back, it looks to be in really nice condition. I don't see any flaws with this. I am going to look it over carefully, so just bear with me. Yep, I don't see any flaws. Like, it smells good. Like, that's really weird, I know, but... <laughs> this is something I've seen people talk about. It smells fine, there's no issues. And it is a size US 4, and the brand is Bowden. So I'm happy with this piece, and I would have picked this up for $5. I think it's a cute style, I think it's very seasonally appropriate, but I also think it would be a great piece of like career wear or whatever, and as for the first piece, the condition is fantastic. Okay, on to the first box. So far, thread up, you're doing good. I know it's not as cheap as some of the mystery boxes would be, where you can get items for like two to three to four dollars or whatever, but touch word the fact that I can like select my inventory a little bit better or whatever uh, hmm we'll see we'll see if it works out so I got all the same stuff again I got it's also boxed really nicely tissue paper I'm gonna go ahead and save and reuse that because that's just who I am <laughs> all right let me peel this open as carefully as I can super pretty I feel looking at it like it has been packed really nicely it obviously has had some care put in it so far as like a user experience it feels quite nice okay so my very first item that i am going to pull out here is this let me look it over so it's a really pretty coral cardigan it has exposed zippers right here on the pockets let me see there's not a lot of like pilling or anything like that it's a very thin knit The colour is really nice. It is a size extra small, which may be why it didn't sell. Um, I don't see any flaws with it at all. It looks really good. Okay, and the brand is Wallace, which is actually in the Madewell family. Yeah, I'd say this one is a win, guys. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with this. I like this a lot. Again, seasonally appropriate. These are all things I will be getting on ASAP. All right, next item. Okay, these are one of the ones that I picked for like, my goodness, what were they? They were like 69 cents, so I went ahead and grabbed them. But we're going to call them five to six just for the sake of being across the board, like, um, you know, honest. So they are just, they're like a wide, wide stripe sort of thing. They've got uh, like a tan brown and a white, cool like little pocket details and stuff. And they are just a J Crew factory. So, you know, I mean, I wouldn't pay $5 for these in a thrift store, truth be told. And they're a size four, so the size isn't bad at all. I don't see any flaws whatsoever with them. They seem to be really nice shape. However, I do need shorts to list. You know, January's coming, I'm gonna start getting all my shorts up. They're cute little dress shorts. They would totally be appropriate for like a little, you know, for a date night or even depending on what you do, like a career wear with like a nice white button down. And like I said, I don't mind at all. So when I put them in, they were 69 cents, which was my reasoning, but that's okay. Okay, next item. What do we have here? I'm nervous. <laughs> Is that weird? Like I'm nervous that I, I wasted my money. But so far it's going well. Okay, so this is a free people top. Um, I'm very picky with my free people. Um, but again, it was a 
cheap-ish piece and even I wouldn't pay five six dollars I don't think for it I would usually pay one to two dollars for three people truth be told unless it was something amazing like a really chunky knit like long oversized cardigan or sweater with amazing fabric content those are pretty much all mm, like distressed skinny jeans or like overalls or something those are pretty much my like discerning factors of how much I'm going to pay on free people but it's a good brand name it will help with traffic and I was curious to see what kind of condition a piece of free people would come. So it's, what is your size? Size small, but their pieces always run larger. Anyway, it's a really nice like pink and purple, like very sort of boho, flowy, oversized, kind of tiered piece. And it has a bird print on it, like a, a swallow print, I would say. And it is a halter neck piece. So very nice for spring and summer. We shall see how it does. I'll probably end up listing this for between 20 and 25 and taking best offers and we shall see. But as for the condition, I don't see anything wrong with it at all. It feels good. Like I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. Decent inventory. Okay, and we have another Free People item right here. This is a pair of Free People denim shorts. Now this is one of the items that was noted to have um, wear. Whatever that means. <laughs> I, I should have looked at the definitions. I'm so sorry, like, you know, the examples. But essentially, there were some things that said, you know, we'll have wear, like, pilling or wash wear. And then there's another sort of layer of it that says um, may have small flaws, like small stains or whatever. So this was one of the ones that was noted as having a flaw. As of right now, and it's a button fly, so I don't have to worry about, like, you know, a zipper not working. So as of right now... I don't see any flaws. Nope. They look really, really good to me. Let me show you the back as well. Um, they are a size 26. Yeah. Free people denim shorts. I'll throw them up for 25, 30 bucks. All right. Moving on. Um, so these are a pair of Theory pants. They are a size 4. And I believe, let me check the wool, the content, but I believe, they have a style number, they are a wool blend, they're 96% wool, um, and they are like a very, very dark charcoal grey. These are a nice shape. Honestly, they look like they're almost brand new. So they have like a very soft pleat down the front, they have, I guess you would call that like a sort of boot cut, it's not really a wide leg. Um, all buttons are there, no issues. Let me check the zipper. Zipper works fine. Yep. Pockets. Let me check. No holes in the lining. Okay. These are nice. Pair of Theory Wool Grey Career Pants. And I probably would pick those up in a fist off for $5, truth be told. All right. So the net. Now, this was another item that was noted to have a flaw. So let us look closely. Um, here, let me show you what it is first and then we'll give it a good one saver. So here is the brand. It is Broadway and Broom, which again is in the Madewell family. Um, it is a size two and it's like a, I guess I would call it like a hot pink. It has a elastic cinched waist, a pretty like pleat detail at the front. It also has a racer back and then like, almost like a, it's not scalloped. It's almost, it's just got like a, some detailing at the back there. That's what we're going to go with. We're going to call it detailing. And the detailing actually runs around all the edges as well. It has pockets, which who doesn't love a dress with pockets? Let me check and make sure. No holes. All right. And it feels really nice as well. Let's check the fabric content because I've already forgotten. I will say this came really quickly. I ordered it was here within the week, which was, yeah, fairly impressive. It's 100% silk. Um, all right. Let's look for this flaw. So this was noted as having a stain. So I'm going to have to look really, really closely since this was noted with that because I do not want to list anything that has the potential. Okay, maybe this is what they were talking about. So the problem with it being silk is that I'm not going to be, good, be cleaning this. So this, if you can see, there's a little mark right here. This is what they're talking about, I believe. Let me keep on looking. I don't see any more marks. Let me... Just make sure. So with it being silk, it's dry clean only. Nope, there's nothing. I'm not going to clean it myself. So this is probably going to be a list and disclose situation. No, other than that, it looks really good. Underarms look good. Yep, okay. I'm still happy with this piece. Honestly, let's be real. If I'd have bought this in a thrift store, I'd have probably missed that stain. <laughs> and I'd have come home <laughs> and realised it was there. Um, which, it's not the point, I understand, but... 
I'm gonna list and disclose for the sake of the experiment and trying to figure out exactly what like the flaws are gonna look like. Um, I feel like that was worth it. I'm still gonna list it. I still believe I will make five to six dollars on that piece because it's a it's a great piece, great brand, great fabric content, a good style. Um, it's not seasonally in right now, so it may take a little while, but I stand by it. I'm glad I did that. I feel like I learned something. Okay, this is just like a little skirt. It is a size four, however, hmm, hmm. Okay, so it has an elastic waist. And it's like a wide grey and neon yellow plaid. But as a size 4, I feel like this might have a lot of give. I may have to do some measurements and check some stuff. I'm not too sure if that has too much give. We shall see. I will do some investigating. But I do like the style. I think that's a really cute little skirt with like a white shirt and stuff. And the brand is J. Crew. That is an older J. Crew tag, but it is not factory. Has a style number. I will look it up. Um, I actually feel like this would fit me. Not that I would wear it necessarily. And I'm not a size four. So <laughs> I'm going to have to look into that a little bit further and see um, what the original measurements would be for like a size four and a skirt and stuff like that and see if I can compare and learn a little bit more about the item. Okay, that is two boxes down. Final box, let's do it. Oh, where's my scissors? Oh. All right, so far so good. Like, I feel like I would spend $90 at a thrift store so far with all this stuff. So we got the usual, got my little manifesto. Once again, it is wrapped really nicely. Sticker says, enjoy this time. Plenty of tissue paper, which I will salvage. Don't call me cheap, call me resourceful. All right, here we go. Um, same, same stuff. All right, here we go. So these are, oh, no. No, <laughs> I thought they were new with tags and then I realized, be careful, uh, Thread Up has put a tag on them that says wrapped with love to from. So I'll be taking that off. They are not new with tags, but they are a pink and purple, almost like a seersucker. Oh, there we go. Like a seersucker, like stripe. Um, they are a size two and they are J Crew, but that is the newer J Crew tag, the black tag. They do have their style number and whatnot. And I just feel like that's a really cute pair of shorts. Again, condition, there is absolutely nothing wrong with them. Let me get some natural light on the situation. I'm happy with those, especially with them being new OJ Crew. So I'll be listing those. Uh, this. I guess this is, so this one, this one was marked new with tags. But I don't think it is. Here's the tag. It says J Crew Chino Cord $25. That does not look to me like it is a store tag for this item. What do you think? So I feel like I kind of got fluffed a little bit there. I'll be honest. This was supposed to be, this is obviously, this is made well. This is size four. Here is the actual tag as well. Um, it is crossed through. So I do not feel like this is a newer tags item. And I'm actually going to go ahead and contact thread up about that because I feel like that's within my rights to do. It's definitely not new with tags if someone has drawn through the label and it is not a store tag. It looks like a tag that was either on a thrift store um, already or like something that was added afterwards. But anyway, regardless, this is a nice pair of shorts. So they have almost like an embroidered woven texture to them. Like I said, they're a size four. Um, I would still have bought them, absolutely. But I thought I was getting a pair of new with tag shorts and I didn't. So that is definitely something that is gonna go on the naughty list for thread up. <laughs> All right, next item. All right. So this is a moth piece. This is from Anthropology. Oh, come on, there we go. And it is a size medium and it is a knit skirt. Okay, that's just a piece of fluff. It's a knit skirt. Actually, it's really nice. It's a blue knit and it has these large like oversized pockets like a pencil skirt um, and it has this isn't pilling this is like a texture that's all over it it was marked as having pilling 
I wonder could somebody have misinterpreted that? I don't know. Let us check the fabric content and see what we're dealing with here. It does seem to have plenty of stretch and whatnot at the way, so I'm not concerned about that. Um, yes, it is a, it's a wool blend, which doesn't surprise me. I'll be taking plenty of measurements. I like that. I think that's nice. That's a good piece. All right, it's navy blue in case you're wondering. And if I didn't say it before, it is a size medium. Okay, a couple more pieces left. Keep going. All right, here is another Madewell piece. Once again, again, that tag has been drawn through. It is a size extra small, which is not ideal, but it's an oversized plaid shirt. Now, I feel like I have gone ahead and missed the boat in terms of season for this, but um, it's like a almost like a coral with purple. It has a high-low style at the bottom. Um, and overall, it's just a really nice piece. Let's check it over. I don't see any issues with it. God willing. No, it looks to be a good piece, you guys. I don't see any issues. Again, checking with natural light. And of course, I will be checking again in like my photography stage. And then when I measure in lifts, I'll check again. So I have like three points of quality control. But yeah, okay. Made well plaid shirt for $5. I probably, I probably would have picked that up in the store, truth be told. All right, next item. This is another theory piece. Oh, come along. There we go, another theory piece, size zero. Again, not ideal, but what can you do? Okay, this is pretty, this is really pretty. So this is a black tiered skirt. Well, it's not a mini size, it's not quite that small, but yeah, this is, this is a nice piece, I like this. Again, let's check the fabric content and check the zippers and all this kind of stuff. I wanna know exactly what I'm dealing with here. Um, it's a cotton silk blend, which it feels like it. Let's go ahead and check the zipper. Yep, works very nicely. Oh, I like that, that's really pretty. Let me see, that's just a little bit of fluff. Has a little bit of detailing around the edges. Lots of layering. Yep, I don't see any flaws. That's a good piece. All right, and two more pieces to go. So this, let me zip it up. I've honestly at this point forgotten what I picked out. <laughs> it feels like Christmas already. Okay, so this is J. Crew, and it's a J. Crew factory piece and it's an older piece. So again, this is not something I would traditionally pay up for at all. If it was a filler bag or one dollar, I probably would have grabbed it. It's a cotton blend. Um, but I do kind of like it. Um, it has, does it have pockets? No. I you hate it when a skirt doesn't have pockets. Like, who do they think we are? Um, so it's like a, I guess it's like a tie-dye almost. It's hard to show the print, but it's like a, a very dark plum purple with a pink tie-dye. Has an exposed zipper at the back. Now, this piece has more wear than I think I'm comfortable with. There's some wear like around the waistband and stuff like that. Like it's just not sitting quite the way that it should. I may be able to iron it and fix that right up because there's no actual damage. But I think what we'll do is we may pop it in the washer and then lint roll it a whole bunch. I feel like there's a little more wash wear than I would really be comfortable with. So this may end up being a piece that either goes up for like $10 with lots of disclosure and photographs, which I'm not against doing. You know, people like a bargain as well. Or it may end up being a donation piece. We shall just see. So you win some, you lose some. And oh, final piece. What do we have here? We have another J. Crew piece and this is not a factory piece. It is a size two, and I really, really like this. So it is a, mm, like a peach color, like a peach and white wide plaid, and it's just a button up. I really like that piece. Like if that was my size, I would absolutely scoop that up. Let's check it for like its quality and stuff like that. All right, have a good look in the light here. It's always hard with plaids because you feel like you're checking every single little square, but I do not see anything that is an issue with this piece. Let me check the arms as well. Nope. Oh, carpet fluff. Nope. It looks good, you guys, so this will definitely be being listed. I'm happy with that as well. All right, you guys, so therein ends my thread up sourcing experiment. <laughs> Hey guys, so before you think that you have somehow hopped over to a different video, you haven't. It's still me doing the thread up video, but I made a mistake. So 
I had two more packages that were coming. I have absolutely no idea how I could possibly have missed the fact that not all my uh, items that I ordered were there, apart from I ordered a lot. Um, but yeah, I had two more turn up. So I'm like hijacking the end of this video to show you the rest of the items that came and to, uh, to let you know that actually my numbers were a little bit off. So I'm gonna clarify that for you now and show you what all came that was a surprise to me, apparently. Okay, so I've like torn open the boxes, but I haven't pulled anything out yet. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the rest of these items. I think there's like five items or so that I just completely forgot that we're going to turn up at my door. Um, and so I'm also going to tell you that that affected my numbers. Um, so the total I spent on this was $90.18. That includes shipping because shipping was free over $79. And so for 21 items, that worked out as $4.29 per item, not the 5 to $6 that I had quite possibly referenced earlier so four dollars and 29 cents now there was one item that came um that was uh, it had a hole in it um a, when i got it up on my mannequin take pictures the j crew plaid like it was like a peach and white plaid it actually had a hole in the shoulder that meant that there's no way i was going to be able to resell it or even wear it to be honest um so what i did is i reached out to the thread up customer service and told them about the issue and i also mentioned to them about the madewell shorts which are right here that were supposed to be new with tags, but they actually just had like a consignment tag. I went ahead and reached out. I referenced the item numbers like from my order form and obviously sent pictures showing them the issues that I had with both items. And I got on chat with them. And um, I will say I emailed first and I didn't hear back in two days, which was a little bit frustrating um, just to not even get a sort of like, hey, we're working on this email. So I went ahead and got on the like chat with them on their website and they were fantastic they actually refunded me in full to my bank account not a credit to my bank account for both items said i could keep them the j crew i will i guess i'll donate it um or something like that with a hole in the shoulder and the madewell shorts i can still absolutely sell i mean they're in good condition they just weren't new with tags was my issue um but i just wanted to let you know that because i know there's some humming and hiring over the customer service of thread up sometimes but my experience was pretty damn good so let's go ahead and see what else going on so i think we got the usual stuff in here uh, we're pretty much used to this by now right like all the extra stuff there's the manifest and then here is let's see i'm doing this one-handed so do bear with me we'll tear into this paper okay cool so i got another one of them tags this i know this one was supposed to have a little mark on it somewhere so let's use our eagle eyes and see what we can see but this is a really cute oh look this one is new with tags what do you know? This one was not supposed to be. So, hey, I feel like, feel like it did pretty good. All right, anyway, so Madewell, new with tags. There we go, it's a size large. It's a really cute, like off the shoulder, boho, peasant, festival style, three quarter length blouse. Apparently it has a small mark somewhere, but the fact that it's new with tags um, makes me feel way more excited about that. So what I'll do is I'll have a really good look. I may end up, that's just a piece of who knows what, I may end up spot cleaning if and when I find it. But other than that, I'm really happy with that piece. So yay, okay. And we're off. Let me go ahead and stick that over there. And then this is, like you can see up close, this is all embroidered, it's navy blue with white. Again, $4.29 is what it all worked out to be. Um, this is cute. So it's like a little halter. It has a, I think it has a cross, cross back or, no, just a halter neck, halter neck there. Um, has almost like a, sort of pleated kind of flattering detail here flares out to the bottom almost like a little bit of a peplum style and the brand is Maeve which is by Anthropology, and it's a size two this looks to be in really nice condition I don't see any snags or any issues of course I will look it over very well again before I get it on my well as I get it on my mannequin most probably all right let's keep going oh lord it's fighting me here we go we can do this <laughs> we can do this Okay, I win. All right, here we go. Uh, here we put that. Let me go ahead and tear this open a little bit. I'll still probably reuse that just for extra padding and stuff. There's the manifesto. Okay, so we have the J. Crew Chinos, two doll, uh, size two, sorry, classic twill. These are just like a three-quarter length yellow 
sort of straight leg cropped pants. These were one of the things that were like a buck, buck and a half, something like that. So I went ahead and grabbed them. And um, these are another pair of cropped pants. These are obviously red. This brand here is Theory and it's a, it is a size zero, but these again were like a dollar to a dollar and a half. Obviously it all adds out, like I said, to 420, 4.29, but when they were so cheap on the website, I went ahead and grabbed them. These are in nice shape. So these are like a straight, almost like a, I guess it's a straight leg, but it's almost like a tapered leg, if you can see that. Like a J. Crew that's factory with the two little lines there, city fit dress pants. Um, yeah, they're, they're in good shape. I almost always notice some fading and stuff on these kind of things. And actually, like the wash wear tends to stand out. And actually, I don't feel like that these are too bad at all. In fact, I feel like they're a really nice quality, uh, like not too many washes, kind of solid color happening here. So I'm pleased with those. They'll work. And the very last piece, the last kind of mystery piece that we've got going on is this J. Crew Factory. Just a skirt. It's a size four cotton. It's almost like a um, like a khaki kind of skirt, um, and it has pockets, which is always a bonus, and an elastic waist, and very much a kind of like a line fit to it. Oh, all right, we made it. Um, I feel like it was pretty good. I feel like that experience was fairly comparable to what I would get if I went to a thrift store around here, except I don't find a lot of theory in Mainwell, so actually it may have been a little bit better, and even anthropology and stuff. I tend to come away with a lot of J. Crew and then like one or two exciting pieces um, each trip. And I feel like here I definitely got some great brand names that are gonna help me with traffic um, into my store, with you know being frequently searched and all that. I feel like I'm gonna have plenty of stuff to share to parties because they're gonna be relevant brands I feel like the styles are current or they're quite, you know, classic, like a plaid shirt, you can't go wrong, especially when it's a good brand and a great fabric content. So in conclusion, I probably would source from ThreadUp again. Um, I feel like my expectations for the condition and the quality of the items was kind of blown out of the water. Like it was, they were way better than what I was expecting. When I read all of the condition details, like the vague descriptions or whatever, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna get stuff that is stained and I don't know what. Um, and it wasn't, it was actually, it was actually really good. So I'm pleased with the way that that went. Um, and yeah, I would probably do it again, um, although I'm not sure it would be my, my first choice, but it's good to have on the back burner, and I'm really hoping that this video showed you guys maybe another option, maybe it helped you decide you didn't want to go that route, but either way, I do hope it was interesting and informational for you all. Um, so if you enjoyed it, please do hit the like button, and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and come back and hang out more. I'm going to have some more unboxings I suppose because here I am in the dead of winter trying to source um, without driving two hours each way so we're going to do some more experimenting we're going to see what all we can find online to keep our stores going and keep them thriving as well because that is just as important um, and yeah come hang out it will be awesome all right guys I will talk to y'all soon bye <laughs>